I will wash my filthy mouth in her presence. I promise. Say hi to Jackie the librarian. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Alfonso. Okay, Jackie. Let's get things started. What the fudge, Jackie? What the fudge? Ha 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 ha. Because no one really knows what they were doing, Alfonso. All we can do is laugh. And eat fudge. Heggy, there is no other choice. Well, there is crying, or denial, but I think laughing is better. Still, there is something I must ask you. Sometimes you are online really late at night, and mean late, even by your time zone standards. I must know what is it that you do, so late in Goodreads. Are you fixing books, and being a good librarian? Or, are you talking in the secret Goodreads Babes Club, planning the next sexy pillow fight? What is it, Jackie? My three readers want to know. It's true. I'm in a few secret good dress groups, Alfonso. They're not as exciting as you'd think. Although, you're right, we did plan the Portland Goodreads Babe pillow fight in one of them. That was totally staged, by the way. But what I'm really doing is playing Scrabble over on Facebook. I'm very good. Huh, I love Scrabble, we should play one day. But I get to play in Spanish, and you can have your husband. You the one who is married to the dude who speak like 20 languages, right? He can check my words, I also kick ass in Scrabble. Alfonso, if you get to play Scrabble in Spanish, I get to play in English and Spanish and French. It's a deal then, the day we meet there shall be an epic battle of Scrabble. Next question, let's talk a little bit more about the Goodreads babes. It has come to my attention, that a New York City reunion is being considered. You think they can beat the sexiness, that went down in the Portland one? There is no way like reunion can't top the Portland one. We had Sarah Montambo and eh? And Karen and Elizabeth and Jared Wynn and Meredith and Marie and K.I. And, of course, me the sexy Goodreads librarian herself. I can see any other grouping beating that. The only thing missing was our group getting crashed by some Goodreads guys. I don't know where Steve Mott was, or King Dinosaur, but they really missed out on an opportunity. We were doing drunken arm wrestling on Saturday night, for heaven's sake. Oh, and by the way, I'm not married anymore. So you saying? that the East Coast doesn't have the same babe power that the West Coast does. Strong world Jackie. Strong words. I wonder what the response to that will be. And I hope they come to answer that here in stupid. You hear that East Coast babes? If you all want to answer Jackie y'all better do it here in stupid. And you know why the Goodreads dudes didn't invade? Cause we did know nothing about it. If I would have known trust me, I would have crashed on that drunken arm wrestling contest. You single, you do know I did hit on you in the past, when you had the avatar with you dress as a princess thing where you holding a magic wand, but then you dropped the I'm married bomb, and I backed out. Oh is my chance to ask you, in a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the hottest, how hot you think I am? Ha 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 ha. Really, you hit on me, Alfonso? When was that? I thought you liked Bun Watt. Hush, don't tell nobody I have a minor crush on Bunny. I think smart is sexy. I was hitting on you when we were discussing the Wheel of Time book in THC back in the days. But we must continue. How hot am I, Jackie? Alfonso, I can't rate you on a 1 to 10 scale. That just doesn't work for you. Dude, you're as hot as a Serrano pepper. Thank you for the hot pepper reference. I'm that hot. And I know I mean we are in demand. Next question. Jackie, you're a librarian, both here on Goodreads, and in real life. His strikes me as roughly equivalent to a bus driver who takes his family for a drive in the country on his day off. Is there anything you like to do which doesn't involve books? No. Only book-related activities for me. I go to book groups, watch movies based on books, and go shopping in bookstores on my days off. Just kidding. Sure, I like to go for bike rides, see movies, crochet, swim, I love vacationing in Hawaii, I go snorkeling, and I've gotten to swim with green sea turtles. Awesome. I'm an artist, and I like to draw and paint a little, although not as often as I should, mainly just Christmas cards. I also play piano and have just started learning the ukulele last year. I like listening to live music, too. And just last Saturday I went to the Night of the Living Tribute Bands event at the Capitol Theater. If you dressed in costume, it was only $5 to go. I dressed as a black cat, and ended up dancing with a guy dressed as Boba Fett. 
and getting picked up, literally, by some other guys and swung around. That wasn't as much fun. I may have been drunk. Just a little. You sound like a cool drunk. I love those. I'm an adorable drunk. You can ask anyone. Haba, ha, I never heard anybody ever describe itself as an adorable drunk. You should get that on a t-shirt. Dude, we need to hang out. I'm even better at Scrabble if I'm drunk, but we'll discuss that in some other occasion. Now I need to focus on the librarian subject. After all, you are Jackie the librarian. Sorry to stick to this topic of you being a librarian, but is it hard to keep your literary taste to yourself when you work at a library? If somebody at your library is checking out a lame ass book that sucks, do you have to bite your tongue to keep from saying why are you reading this garbage? How about if they're complaining that a super awesome book was boring how do you keep yourself from kicking them in the balls or ovaries? Okay, about taste in books when it comes to working in a library. My tastes don't matter. I have to listen to what the patron wants and match it to what I know about the books. If someone wants the newest Nicholas Sparks, I'm going to help them get it, not say, why do you read that crap? Actually, I have no idea if Nicholas Sparks is crap. I've never read any. I'm a youth services librarian, so I read mostly kids and teen books. It's not hard to not kick anyone in the balls or anywhere. I'm really a very nice person with few violent tendencies. Just don't snore in the library and we'll get along just fine. I want to play a juvenile high school game called Sleep, Kill, Mary. I will give you the names of three famous authors. You have to choose to sleep with one, kill one, and marry one, and explain why. You feel like playing for only three rounds? I'm up for the game. But can one of my authors be Neil Gaiman? Maybe. Round one, Highbrow, one, D.H. Lawrence, two, J.D. Salinger, three, Jean Paul Sartre. Okay, I'd sleep with Salinger, because he's a fascinating recluse. But I think he'd be too weird to live with long term. I'd marry Lawrence, he was fairly prolific, and I like his ideas about female sexuality. There's promise there. And I'd be happy to kill Sartre. He was a misogynist, and I didn't enjoy having to read him for my French major in college. Marrying with him would be definitely a who is close, not a good idea. And I doubt he'd be very good in bed. <laughs> Round 2, Lowbrow, 1, Stephen King, 2, Tom Clancy, 3, Dean Koontz. None of those guys are Neil Gaiman, Alfonso. Okay, I'd sleep with Dean Koontz, I liked Watchers, but I don't want anything long term with him. I'd marry Stephen King, for his money. And I'd kill Tom Clancy, because I hear he's a real jerk. And conservative. And the military doesn't like him for revealing secrets about submarines or something. Anyhow, I'm sure we wouldn't miss him. He's out of original ideas for books. OMG, this is fun. Super freaky bonus round. Women, 1, Mary Shelley, 2, Sylvia Plath, 3, Jane Austen. I'd sleep with Mary Shelley and get her to tell me all about Percy Shelley and Byron and that rainy summer they spent in Switzerland. But she seems a little flaky, so I wouldn't want to marry her. I'd marry Jane Austen, of course. I love all her books, she's adorable. And I'd kill Sylvia Plath, because she's maudlin, but that wouldn't really be necessary. You do know she committed suicide, right, Alfonso? No I didn't, oops. Where's Neil Gaiman? Just cause you are an adorable drunk, round 4, comma 1, Neil Gaiman 2, J.R.R. Tolkien 3, K.I. Hope. K.I. Hope? You mean King Dinosaur's girlfriend? I almost made out with her in Portland during the drunken arm wrestling. I came that close, I swear. Okay so, I'd sleep with K.I., but I can't marry her because she's King Dinosaur's girlfriend. And a girl? And this country still has laws about that, which is stupid. We'd have to elope to Canada, and I like her, but not that much dot sorry, K.I. We could still make out, if you want. I'd totally marry Neil Gaiman. He's really hot, and creative, and writes books for kids and adults, and I love the graveyard book. Goodread suggests I friend him, and that's practically being married anyways, right? And I'd kill Tolkien. After he wrote The Lord of the Rings, which I don't love, 
but I know a lot of people do, but before he could write the Silmarillion and that whole history of Middle-earth, that was unforgivable. Really? OMG, The Silmarillion is my favorite book of all times, The Horror. The Horror, this interview was amazing, I will give you the last word, and I really hope we get to have a second one, we need to talk more about the sexy times and all the almost make out from the Portland Bay reunion. My last words are, avoid sparkly vampires, the ones from Buffy the Vampire Slayer are much hotter. When in doubt, give chocolate. And, keep calm and carry on, everyone. It's going to be okay. Thanks for interviewing me, Alfonso. This was fun. I'm out.